నమస్తే వెల్కమ్ టు అవర్ గైడెన్స్ క్లాసెస్ ఫర్ గ్రూప్ వన్ సర్వీసెస్ టెలికాస్ట్ బై టీసెట్ యాజ్ యూ నో దట్ సైన్స్ అండ్ టెక్నాలజీ ఈజ్ ఎ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ కాన్సెప్ట్ అండ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద కాన్సెప్ట్ ఆఫ్ థర్టీన్ ఏరియాస్ ఆఫ్ గ్రూప్ వన్ సిలబస్ ఇన్ దిస్ ద బేసిక్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫిజిక్స్ ఆర్స్ అ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ సో ఇఫ్ యూ అండర్స్టాండ్ ద బేసిక్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫిజిక్స్ దెన్ యూ కెన్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ద వేరియస్ బ్రాంచెస్ ఆఫ్ సైన్స్ అండ్ టెక్నాలజీ వర్క్ so in this uh, scenario we are discussing about uh, uh, the newton's laws momentum uh, and other things now we are coming to the momentum some may think of momentum as that motivated on a roll feeling that follows a series of success in physics momentum is how much motion something has it is similar to colloquial meaning in that an object physical momentum determines how much force is needed to stop a moving object that's on a roll impulse measures how much momentum changes over of time so this is a uh, everyone uh, is uh, fond of uh, a cricket as you know it see here when uh, the ball was uh, bowled by a, a bowler the batsman want to hit the ball the fielder want to catch the ball correct what will happen just imagine the total uh, scenario then the fielder just just is you want to hold the ball just if push and uh, you just you pull his hands towards his body and make a little bit of downwards to his body what is the reason behind it because the ball is uh, traveling in a parabolic path the trajectory of projectile is parabola so because of course the field doesn't know the trajectory of the para- projectile is a parabola but by the practical experience he observed it travels in a parabolic path so when travels in a parabolic path so if you if you want to hold the ball immediately due to impulse what is here here the word word is called impulse impulse means a uh, simply i is equal to force into time force into time it's clear so means here uh, when the ball immediately comes to a rest what will happen so it gives more force on our on the hands simply the fielder will drop the ball for that reason he just he pushes hands towards his body means he takes some time means time is increase then force will decrease so definitely the strain will reduces finally the fielder can hold the ball easily correct that's an impulse i will give a, one more example see when you uh, when you jump from a uh, a fencing wall a compound wall on the ground if the ground is covered with the sand then it is easy to jump on the sandy ground if it is a concrete uh, ground then it is a difficult for us what is the reason so when it is a sandy ground then the our foot will takes some rest because it uh, just it uh, it goes to little bit of deeper in the sand ground means it takes much more time to come to rest means the applied force on the foot will be reduced so the pain also will be reduced when it is a concrete ground when so uh, immediately our legs comes to rest this all these are examples for the impulse impulse is force into time clear so and the units for the impulse is is newton seconds so this is a very very important so impulse means force into time these concepts helps engineers design airbags this is a very useful uh, impact phenomena which increase the impulse or time required to stop the momentum of a driver during a crash this means that the driver feels a smaller force from the crash as they experience the change in the momentum over a longer period of time recently all the cars are come up with the airbags i understand why the this uh, automobile engineers design these cars with airbags what is the reason 
when the accident happens when the car is comes under the crash so means this uh, image because of uh, impulse this airbags will open when airbags when open means here so the crash time will be expanded so when the crash time will be expanded definitely the applied force on the body of the driver will be reduced means uh, the driver will be survived from the accident clear so that's a uh, application of this impulse uh, in the automobile engineering application of airbags so is it clear so airbags works under the impulse simply you can a uh, call it is. so i just now uh, i set i is equal to force into time and when the time increases so definitely the force will be decreases and the unit for the uh, impulse already you set newton second is uh, already you know that and you know that newton is equal to 10 to the power of 5 dynes so when it is a uh, given in cgs units okay next one is torque so when you come into the torque torque is the reason uh, those have knobs and uh, hinges on the opposite sides and is a force that causes an object to rotate or twist about an axis it requires more forces to rotate an object when pushing closest to the axis of rotation which is why door knobs are nearly as far as possible from the hinges so now if you see when you open the door so the torque when you open the door simply we will say the torque is torque we will say tau we call it as tau tau is a uh, is a vector this is called f bar cross r bar it's a vector product there is a uh, there is a two kinds of products a vector product and scalar product so means here it is called is fr sin theta fr sin theta means so torque is a vector so if it when it uh, simply when the door was opened it requires more force to rotate an object when pushing closest to the axis of rotation which why this one this is a very important thing. so is is equal to f bar cross r bar and the torque is is an a vector quantity clear now coming to the next one at uh, the simple harmonic motion so the simple harmonic motion we will call it as simply shm we call it as hm simple harmonic motion uh, uh, when the body is in a periodic motion like a block bouncing up and down on a spring or a pendulum is swinging you are observing uh, uh, this pendulum in wall clocks correct uh, left to right and the right to left back and again with this kind of movement an object passes through a central position to one side and then moves the same amount to the other side after each pass uh, through the center so that the maximum displacement is equal to both the ends moving moving in this direction this is called a simple harmonic motion clear in this pendulum example the pendulum swings just as far left as it does right it's called harmonic motion because musical sounds are combinations of simple harmonic waves and sound waves emitted by the musical instruments this is a very important thing here musical sounds are combination of simple harmonic waves and sound waves which are emitted by the musical instruments that is called a simple harmonic motion clear here uh, i am going to discuss about uh, one more thing here and the work is uh, simply this called f bar dot s bar or simply we call it as fs cos theta okay f bar so fs cos theta here we can say this 
I will give a small example. So, in the, even in textbooks also we give the same thing here. One railway porter just uh, carrying a, a lifting some uh, what you call suitcases and bags on his head and just uh, he just he traveled from a platform to a main gate. So, you can say we, I no need to give any a single pie to you the reason is the work done by you is 0. Physically, scientifically you can say a 0 also. What is the reason? See f, f bar w equal to f bar dot s bar correct. It is a scalar product of force and displacement. So, f s cos theta means what will happen here? Suppose he is a porter, he is lifting the weights on his head means here it is a motion the motion of the body in direction and this is the force direction the angle between these two is 90 degrees so means here it is f s cos 90 cos 90 is 0 so means f s into 0 that is 0 means the work done by the person is 0 but we have to give for his module power is working to lift those bags or suitcases correct. See how funny the thing here. So, simply uh, work is a scalar and torque is a vector. So, these things you have to remember. So, scalar quantity a vector quantity. Now, coming to the, the very important thing is fluid dynamics. From river flow to wind pattern Fluid dynamics explains uh, some of the most common forces of nature. Physics and engineer uh, uh, study flow rates of fluids type of flow like uh, smooth or turbulent, friction, pressure, fluid thickness and more to understand liquids and gases. Anyone with air travel experience has been uh, benefited from the study of the fluid dynamics. The shape of airplane wings takes an advantage of airflow, the curved top and flat bottom manipulating the air pressure to lift the plane. This is the very, very important thing. The shape of airplane wings takes advantage of airflow, the curved top and flat bottom manipulating air pressure to lift the plane. Now, you are observing uh, uh, the plane uh, shape here. So, the uh, because uh, so it, uh, it simply the curved top and flat bottom manipulate the pressure, it reduce the pressure and to lift the aeroplane into air. So, this comes under the uh, fluid dynamics. So, fluid dynamics is a very important phenomenon. Okay. Now, moving to the next one is thermodynamics. So, means thermodynamics uh, represents the study of the object with respect to temperature. Thermodynamics regards the different kinds of heat and energy transfer. Heat is a form of energy as you know it and can transfer from hot object to area to cooler one through a radiation. Physical contact or the flow of heated particles known as convection. So, we have convection, conduction. Heat represents energy transfer between systems because of temperature difference while temperature measures how fast atoms are moving. So, that is called a thermodynamics. So, th here we are using the word called as a heat heat is an energy. Here do not confuse that heat and temperature both are different here. Temperature is one of the measurement of heat. Heat is one kind of energy. Clear? So, the temperature can be measured in various uh, uh, scales means uh, Kelvin, we can use it centigrades, Fahrenheit, Rad, Reimer like uh, we can calculate those things here. Clear? Okay. So, now we are going to discuss about uh, the we will say 
uh, thanks to thermodynamics and science. The reason is engineers have created air condition. Now, observe it without air condition. So, uh, central heating and computers. Uh, now, the all these computers are uh, surviving uh, the because of air conditioning and because uh, when uh, the computers get overheat, then uh, these computers will not work. Even biologists also benefited from this field. Uh, thermodynamics uh, governs how organism receives stored and expanded energy. So, if you want to store the objects, we are using the refrigerators means uh, it is a it is a air conditioning that one and we are using uh, uh, air conditions. For example, plants takes and heat energy in the form of the sun's radiation and animals emit heat energy during for the metabolism. So, as you know it, the plants uh, take the energy in the form of uh, a photosynthesis. As you know that photosynthesis, so carbon dioxide and water CO2 plus H2O by using this uh, photosynthesis process, these plants will generate the required carbohydrates, correct. So, means uh, the minimum thing here heat energy at the same time the animals emit the heat energy during the metabolism system. So, the here we are using various kinds of units that is called as Kelvin, okay, centigrade and foreign heat. As you know, C is equal to F minus 32 into 9 by 5. This is a relation between centigrade and foreign heat. These two by using these two, you can convert centigrade to foreign heat and foreign heat to a centigrade. So, generally we will take the uh, room, our body temperature is uh, 98.4 foreign degrees uh, and we will convert it in terms of uh, centigrade, we will carry it as a uh, 34 degrees Celsius. Uh, the uh, relation between uh, uh, degree Celsius and foreign heat is C is equal to F minus 32 into 9 by 5. So, by using this relation or you can say as a uh, 5 by 9 to C plus 32 is equal to foreign heat. So, and there is uh, uh, a, uh, a temperature call it as a, a Kelvin uh, and a one uh, 0 degrees Celsius is equal to 273 degrees a Kelvin. 0 degrees Celsius is equal to 273 degrees a Kelvin and uh, like this is a relation. And as you know it, uh, uh, enthalpy, entropy and all these things here uh, about uh, this thermodynamics concept. So, this is uh, most important. Okay. So, now we, we have to take the relation between uh, uh, one second that is uh, degree Celsius if you take it as uh, is equal to 9 by 5 F minus 32. Okay, F minus 32 9 by 5 and uh, you can say as uh, R F is equal to like you can calculate it and uh, we 0 degrees Celsius this is called and 273 degrees Kelvin okay. and this is called absolute temperature and if you want to convert for example, uh, 27 degrees Celsius is equal to simply we can uh, convert it this one as. 273 plus 27 that is 300 degrees Kelvin clear 300 degrees Kelvin. Like you can uh, uh, say uh, the relation between a uh, uh, Kelvin degrees uh, and and we are using a uh, thermometers uh, uh, thermometers to know the uh, temperature to know the there is a clinical thermometers is there practical uh, thermometers are there. So, to know the temperature ok. So, temperature is a unit. So, temperature is a unit to know this is and uh, this will this deals uh, uh, the things. So, uh, knowing about this uh, temperature and relative things is called as a uh, as as thermo or dynamics clear ok. And now coming to the, the very important thing is electricity. Electricity exists thanks to positive and negative charges largely carried by two subatomic particles protons which are positively charged 
and electrons which are negatively charged opposite charges attract each other while like charges repel whenever one of the charged particles moves its create electrical current so if you before going to uh, discuss about uh, electricity uh, uh, this bulb and all these things uh, our bulb is invented by uh, thomas alva edition as you know it so that's a very important thing here so before going to say that every time someone turns on a light electrons move from an area of negative charges to through a wire towards an area of uh, positive charges generating a current to power the bulb electricity is not just useful for appliances though it also plays a fundamental role in biology powering animals nervous system even neurons uh, communicate with the help of electrically charged atoms or ions generating electrical impulses that power things like a uh, muscle movement okay so now we'll see uh, there are two kinds of charges uh, we got static electricity and the second one is a uh, current electricity okay when the two objects are uh, are done with the friction a static electricity will be generated uh, someone loses the electron someone gains the electron so one will charge as a positive another one will charge as a negative one so the units of uh, here the charges is called coulomb clear and uh, if you want to uh, simply this uh, presented with q the flow of free electrons i is equal to called as i is equal to q by t is a uh, units for the uh, charge is coulomb and t means coulomb per second and units for i is uh, ampere and to measure the uh, current in a conductor we will uh, use the ammeter ammeter is a instrument generally we will use it okay if you want to know the uh, uh, between uh, two points uh, the potential difference uh, generally we will say means the potential difference means uh, the energy required to move one unit of positive charge from one point to uh, another point is called potential difference and the units of potential difference is uh, voltage as of course is volt we will call it as v okay and v is equal to w q this is a formula v is equal to w q and the potential difference is measured by the volts and we use the voltmeter voltmeter is a okay so here the very important thing here in in a in some we can classify the total uh, substances as three kinds one is called conductor second one is insulator third one is semiconductor so i mean so uh, the um, objects particles which allows the current is called conductor which passes through it current allows the current passes through it is called conductor which doesn't allows the current through it is called insulator and uh, some in spec uh, specific conditions where it allows the current through it is called semiconductor what is the reason behind it so the reason behind these things here ever so here uh, for ever substance uh, they have in the atom we have two kinds of the bands one is called valency bond second one is called conduction bond valency band and second one is a conduction between valency band and a conduction band there is some energy gap the smallest unit of energy is called electron volt this is a very important thing here one electron volt is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joules 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joules is uh, one electron volt clear and the L, the energy gap and is we sometimes we call it as a gap forbidden gap also if the uh, fermi gap fermi energy gap or forbidden gap also if the energy gap between these two bands 
and valency band and conduction band is more than 5 electron volts. Then in ordinary conditions in abnormal condition also there is no possibility to drive the electrons from valency band to conduction band means there is no flow of free electrons. Then it does not allow the current it acts as a insulator. If it is around 1 electron volt means there is a possibility to drive the electron from conduction band to valence band or valence band to conduction band by applying some external forces, external energy. Okay. This one, uh, these kind of objects we called as a, uh, as a semiconductors. Then generally silicon and germanium will, uh, will be used for the semiconductors. And coming to the next one is a conductor means if there is no energy gap between a valency band and connection band if there is no energy gap between these two overlapped means a valency band and conduction band are overlapped each other simply the electrons are moved from one band to another band then there is a flow of free electrons we call it as a conductor clear these are the uh, three, the reason behind of uh, some the objects act as a conductor some object as a, act as a insulator and some object as a semiconductor is it clear okay that's and uh, the very important thing is so we will use uh, uh, every uh, every substance has its uh, 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 what you call it as uh, obstructs the flow of free electrons this is called internal resistance. Okay. Means uh, the resistance means uh, so here uh, generally resistance is represented with the R and uh, generally the resistor symbol is this one. This is a, a resistance symbol and units for resistance is ohm. So, here when the uh, at a constant temperature that at a, it's a constant temperature the flow of free current the flow of current through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential di difference between the two ends of the conductor clear means here v is proportional to i so v is equal to r i here r is called resistance this v is equal to r i is called ohms law okay and we can draw a triangle also say this is v and this one is r and this one is i you can say multiplication like means v is equal to r i r into i r is equal to v by i and i is equal to v by r is it clear like you can say it. The very important thing is these resistors, you know, just now I said, you know, the resistance is uh, directly proportional to R is directly proportional to L, the length of the conductor. R is proportional to inversely proportional to the cross sectional area. R is proportional to 1 by A, means R is proportional to L by A. R is, is equal to SL by A sometimes they will use some they says rho l by a also they will use it s l by here s will be comes as as specific resistance specific resistance clear or s is equal to r a by l for r means here ohm as you know that a meter square and l is ohm meter is a unit for specific resistance this is a very very important Clear? Resistance is directly proportional to its length and resistance is uh, inversely proportional to the cross sectional area of uh, the conductor and R is equal to SL by ohm meter. So, this resistance means uh, the uh, we call resistors means here and uh, 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 1 by R is called uh, simply the reciprocal of resistance uh, is called conductivity. The reciprocal of resistance is called conductivity. This is also a very, very important thing. The resistance will be measured. 
So, one more thing here. So, when the resistor so uh, means for example, say R 1, R 2, R 3 are the three uh, resistors. When you join this in a series, say this is R 1, this is R 2, this is R 3, then the effective resistance R is equal to R 1 plus R 2 plus R 3. When they are conducted in series, when they are conducted in series, then the effective resistance is sum of the, the three resistances. Clear? For example, these three resistors are connected in parallel. These three are connected in parallel. So, R1, R2, R3. Then the ref effective resistance 1 by R is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R. So, if you want to get more resistance, you have to connect the resistors into series connection. If you want to reduce the resistance, you have to connect in parallel connection. So, means here the effective resistance will be smaller than the smallest resistance among the connector resistance. This about a resistance clear means here the power uh, means here which abstract the flow of current is called the resistor as you know that uh, resistance and um, every uh, object has its internal resistance. It depends on the nature of uh, uh, object correct and uh, uh, simply you can as a unit for the resistance is ohm and units for uh, uh, specific resistance and ohm meter uh, and, and as you know that uh, when you add the resistance in series you will get more resistance when you add in parallel so you will get minimum resistance which is smaller than the least resistor among the connector resistors this is about uh, resistor and other concepts of the electricity. Thank you.